And today, I'm going to be doing a profile on Victor Martinez. Martinez is one of only two men from the Dominican ever to turn pro in bodybuilding. So, without further ado, let's take a look at Victor Martinez. You will oftentimes hear me compliment a bodybuilder by saying he is the total package, or he is totally complete from head to toe. Well, Victor Martinez definitely resembles that remark. When this guy was in his prime, he was arguably the best bodybuilder on the planet. Not only did his physique flow perfectly, but he also had near-perfect proportions and mirror image symmetry. I honestly think Martinez had just about the perfect frame for bodybuilding. At a height of 5 foot 9 inches and a weight of 245 pounds, to me these were the ideal dimensions for a world-class physique. Martinez began to compete in bodybuilding at the young age of 19. He competed at the amateur level from 1993 all the way to 2000, winning several shows. In 2000, he won the NPC Nationals overall title. This would earn Victor his IFBB Pro card. Now it was time to compete against the best of the best. In 2001, Martinez would place way down in the 8th position at that year's Night of Champions. He would make his way back to the Night of Champions in 2003, and he would place a little bit higher this time. Martinez would finish in the 1st place position at that year's show, becoming the 2nd to last ever Night of Champions winner. With this prestigious title to his credit, it was about time for people to start to take notice of this physical specimen. In 2004, Victor Martinez made his Mr. Olympia debut. He finished in ninth place, which doesn't sound like much, but back then, to place in the top 10, in particular in your Mr. Olympia debut, was outstanding. At the 2005 Olympia, Martinez was greatly improved as well as his placings. He placed in the fifth position. Quite a jump in placings. Now, in the top five, people were definitely starting to consider Martinez as a definite threat to the Olympia title. One person in particular was Ronnie Coleman. Coleman would often state that Victor would be the man to carry on the torch of the Olympia championship after he was retired. At the 2006 Mr. Olympia, Victor looked like a champion for sure. And with this being the year that Jay Cutler finally uncrowned Ronnie Coleman as champion, Coleman had the second place spot secured. And earning the bronze medal that year was none other than Victor Martinez. Placing in the top three at the Olympia placed you in some elite company. With the momentum of a top three finish at the Olympia, Victor Martinez would enter and win the 2007 Arnold Classic. The Arnold Classic is considered the second most prestigious title in all of bodybuilding, underneath the Olympia title, of course. Now, armed with the Arnold Classic, Victor Martinez was ready to do battle at the 2007 Mr. Olympia. After a lengthy comparison of Martinez and the current champion, Jay Cutler, it was apparent the judges had narrowed it down to the two titans. Shot after shot, comparison after comparison, it really appeared that this was Victor's night to take the title. I really don't see too many poses here where Cutler is beating Martinez. As predicted, it came down to these two champions. 
Jay Cutler's name was announced as the winner, and Victor Martinez would play second at the 2007 Mr. Olympia. Still, to this day, many people believe Victor Martinez was the rightful winner of the 2007 Mr. Olympia event. In my opinion, Martinez was better that night, but it is fair to mention Cutler was larger, and he was the champion. And when it comes to the Olympia title, the champion always has the edge. Due to an injury, Martinez was unable to attend the 2008 Mr. Olympia event. He made his way back to the Olympia stage in 2009, but unfortunately dropped way down to the sixth place. I honestly believe at this point, all the momentum Martinez had back in 2007 was sizzling out fast. By the 2010 Mr. Olympia event, Martinez had dropped way down to a disappointing 8th place. There was a glimpse of hope for Martinez, as he secured a 4th place finish at the 2011 Mr. Olympia. With things finally starting to look up for Martinez, he was arrested on an immigration violation. And this was a very devastating setback for Martinez. One I believe he never found his way out of. Victor made his return to the Olympia stage at the 2013 event. He was pretty much a shell of his former self. I mean, he looked great for a bodybuilder. But not so great for a Victor Martinez. He finished in the 11th position, the lowest he had ever placed at the Olympia. I was actually pretty impressed with the shape Victor brought to the 2014 Mr. Olympia. By no means did he look like he did in 2007, but he was greatly improved from the previous year. Martinez would make his last Mr. Olympia appearance at the 2015 event. He didn't look too bad at all. He placed in the ninth position. Victor actually won a couple of uh, smaller IFBB shows since his last Olympia appearance, so he hasn't retired altogether. Now, in his mid-40s, it's unlikely that Martinez will ever make his way back to the Olympia stage. Victor Martinez will undoubtedly go down in history as an uncrowned Mr. Olympia, at least to some people. He was always a threat to any man on the bodybuilding stage when he was in his prime. He is the Dominican Dominator, Victor Martinez, a bodybuilding legend. Well, that about does it for that one. Let me know in the comments section below if there's any other bodybuilders like Martinez that you'd like to see a profile done on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.